How's it going, Chip Tribe? It's me, Chips, here, and I want to battle. Literally every single person who's done this tag has done that thing, right? Just every single person, same thing. Ugh, God. <laughs> well, if you are unfamiliar with what this tag series is, obviously you have not been around the channel for uh, the past many, many years because I have been doing it for a while. This is a tag video started by Bird Keeper Toby. Great YouTuber. If you haven't checked him out, what are you doing at this point? But what the tag video is basically is there's a list of questions about uh, Pokemon. It's a Pokemon kind of centric thing. Wants the battle. Makes sense. Uh, Pokemon and uh, YouTube kind of uh, just, you know, an end of the year, has a going kind of tag. It's great, it's a lot of fun, and I'm gonna be doing it, uh, right here, right now. Even though I'm not really a Poketuber anymore, but that's how I started, and so I feel like I can still qualify. I was tagged by my good friend, you know him, you love him, it's Lantern Joe. Uh, at the time of recording, he has not uploaded his video yet, so I don't know what he said in it, but I'm sure it was great. Because, you know, he's got a great track record. So get over there and go give it a watch. But now it is my turn to uh, throw my hat into the ring with question number one. There are seven questions, but I've kind of combined six and seven into into one question. Uh, because, you know, for the, for the small YouTuber community, they're kind of the same. You'll see when we get there. But... Question number one, do you have a channel a mascot? This one is kind of, uh, it seems simple at first, but it's a, there's a little more to it. So uh, the the Pokemon that I wanted to be my mascot going in was Floatzel, because that is far and away my favorite Pokemon. Um, since I was a kid, Pokemon Platinum, first time I played, I had a Floatzel on my team, thought he was the coolest thing, still think he's the coolest thing in Brilliant Diamond, had a Floatzel on my team, he was the best. He was the best. So Floatzel is probably my mascot, but over the course of uh, the early days of the channel when I was doing a whole bunch of Pokemon Let's Plays and Nuzlocks and stuff, there was a couple of other Pokemon that kind of uh, rose to the rank of mascot to the point where one of my early logos was like a coat of arms kind of with a bunch of different Pokemon on it. Uh, Torterra was on there. First Pokemon I ever had in my first playthrough Pokemon Platinum and the first Pokemon that ever appeared on this here channel in Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Uh, so he was on there, he was in the coat of arms. Uh, there was a Gabite in there for a while for the first ever Pokemon Yes Lock, uh, which is, if you aren't familiar, it's a series of Nuzlocks that I do. Uh, he was our first starter, Primo the Gabite. Uh, and then, of course, from that same series, Ned the Mothum. Ned is probably the closest to being an actual mascot. Um, for also from the Pokemon Platinum, he was a, a Burmy, was a Mothum, everyone thought he was going to suck, and he ended up being the greatest ever. Uh, so that's kind of the history of my mascots. Now my mascot is just a C with a star in it, uh, but, you know, those were, back in the day, you needed a mascot. You needed a, a mascot to be something good. I, I wonder what, uh, Lantern Joe's answer to this question was, whatever could his mascot be? Um, but that is it for question one. Basically, uh, I did have a channel mascot, sort of still do in Floatzel, but not, it's not really in the branding or anything too much anymore. Uh, so, there you go. Long-winded question for kind of a simple, or long-winded answer for a simple question. But, question number two, what is your best video of 2021, or the video you are most looking forward to making in 2022, if you have not... Uh, made a lot of videos in 2021. Uh, we'll get to that later. But uh, probably the videos that I am the most proud of this year, and maybe just because it's fresh in my mind because it's the most recent, um, but the was supposed to be one video that became a two-part video on the Five Nights at Freddy's story. Uh, I was thinking about making that video for a while, and then Security Breach was coming out, and I was like, well, I might as well uh, throw my hat into this, see if I can make a funny video. If you haven't seen it, basically the premise is I try and explain the whole bonkers story of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, but the twist, I have never played any game, so I have no context for what I'm talking about. I just did some research and tried to put it together. It's pretty funny. 
Uh, I go crazy by the end because it took me like six or seven hours to record it. It was insane. Uh, but I think it turned out really well. Uh, I had to split it into two because it ended up being an almost hour long video and I was like, ah, no one's going to want to watch this. So I split it into two and by sheer, sheer coincidence, did not plan it at all, didn't even know, uh, part two, I put out the same day that Security Breach came out. I thought it was coming out next year. I had no idea. And so I uploaded it. And then later I saw Security Breach was trending. And I was like, what's this? Turns out it was already out. Insane. Insane. What a what a happy, happy coincidence. That's probably uh, the first thing that jumps to mind. Uh, and a couple other honorable mentions. We finished uh, the Chrono Trigger Let's Play beginning of this year. So that was, a cra that was a crazy, crazy ride. When I started that series, I technically started in 2020, but we'll kind of we'll kind of bring it all in. Uh, I had absolutely no idea how many people loved Chrono Trigger. Uh, and apparently a lot of people do because a ton of people watched it. Of the Let's Play style uh, series on my channel, easily the most viewed. And so the finale of that was a great time, great sort of wrap up. Uh, that was a lot of fun. All of Season 3 and Season 4, well, kind of Season 3.5, let's be honest. It's not a full season of the Chip Tight Show back there on the new set. That was a lot of fun. I like all those videos. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. That's pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff I've made this year. So, question number three. Would you rather have a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl style remake of HeartGold Soul Silver, or a Pokemon Legends Unova slash Legends Kyrim game? Uh, this is easy for me. I'm gonna go with Legends Unova or Black and White remakes. Any of those. Uh, not because I don't want HeartGold Soul Silver remakes. I think those would be fine. I feel like I would rather if they are gonna redo HeartGold Soul Silver. I would rather, to be honest, have a Pokemon Legends ho -Oh Lugia and then a black and white remake. Because I feel like, uh, I know a lot of people love HeartGold Soul Silver. I do too. I feel like if there's any game that needs a, like a revamp, uh, new mechanics and stuff, it's probably HeartGold Soul Silver and not black and white. Black and white are pretty much great as is. They just remade those. In fact, there might be a video in the works, uh you know, a, a wishlist video about black and white remakes, um, in the works, that, you know, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this question and say neither, I would rather have a Pokemon Legends Heart Gold Soul Silver and a black and white remakes, but if I had to pick between the two, uh, Legends Unova, because Unova is just a great region, I like Unova better than Johto, Sue me, sue me. I know, I know, I said it. I think that would be great, but you know what? Legends Arceus hasn't even come out, so who knows? I, you know, none of us know if those, if that style of game is going to be great. If it's not going to be great, maybe I'm like, hey, they should do Legends remakes of all of them. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. There's like well, a one month about until those games come out. I am excited. I am excited, but question number four, what can your viewers expect from you in 2022? So there's a couple uh, uh, things here. I guess this is gonna also serve as a little update. Uh, so the first few months of 2022, probably gonna be a little bit lighter on videos, uh, not as many, because a lot of you probably know this, oh, based on the shirt I'm wearing, not even planned, but I am currently in my last year of college at WPI uh, and it is, um, it's quite busy uh, don't have nearly as much free time as I did in previous years so usually what I would do is because uh, I can't record videos while I'm at school really uh, it's just not there's not an easy convenient way to do it and so usually this is how the chip tide show was born actually I would write all of the chip tide shows for the next chunk of time I was at school while I was at school. So like for the fall, I would write all of those in the summer and record them before I go. And then I would write the ones for the spring the next year while I was at school, record them when I'm home on winter break, which I currently am now. 
I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I actually have not written any new videos for the spring. So any videos that are going to come out, I have some in like pre-planning stages. Um, but any videos that come out this spring, I'm going to have to write rec and record in the next two weeks. So I don't know how many I'll be able to get. Though. I'll try my best, but uh, we'll see. Maybe not as many, not as frequently, but... I have thought of a couple of ideas uh, for things to make up for that. First of all, Lantern Joe and I, you know, he tagged me. You've probably already seen his thing if you're here. Uh, we've got we've got some some stuff in the works, some some new Yes Lock versus uh, plans, which hopefully we'll be able to get a good chunk of that done while I'm still here. And so those will be going up once a week, twice a week, probably once a week uh, on my channel, and then once a week on his channel. So there'll still be stuff going on. And uh, another thing that I was thinking about doing um, to sort of uh, mitigate the uh, lack of new content is something that I have seen on the Super Beer Bros channel, uh, if you're familiar. It's a much bigger uh, Let's Play channel. It's one of my favorites, but what they would do sometimes is take older Let's Play series and uh, edit them all together in like two and a half hour chunks. So like movie sized episodes of series and just block them out so like if i did this for chrono trigger for example uh take the first four or five episodes edit them together put it out as one video and then the next chunk and the next chunk so it's a series of movies better for binging if you want to do that uh which i know a lot of people do for that series in particular so i was thinking about doing something like that and either uploading it to this channel uh to make up for the not chip tied shows or maybe upload it to a separate gameplay channel i've been going back and forth for a long time about whether or not to separate uh the chip tied show stuff and the let's play stuff into two different channels this might be the thing that gets me to do it i'm not sure i'm not sure uh if you follow me on twitter i'll probably be asking you guys about this every so often so we'll have to wait and see but that was another thing i was thinking about so you know some chip tied classic series movies i think that could be fun and lastly uh if you follow me on twitter you know all about this i was supposed to today the day well technically yesterday and then it was supposed to be today but it's not it has been working i was supposed to do a live stream for operation reindeer which is a charity uh, event started by icy richard you'll hear more about him in a second uh to raise money for Red Nose Day, a bunch of charities and stuff. And I was supposed to finally do my speed run of Jeep Thrills. And there would be a bunch of challenges where, like, if you donate, I got to do something crazy. It was going to be a good time, but uh, my computer had other plans and decided just not to work. Uh, the Nothing about Streamlabs is working. I can't get my FaceTime connect. I'm literally just recording this on my phone. It's not connect not communicating with my computer the you know the layouts and stuff aren't working it's a whole big thing so i am pushing that back again probably until early next year but i rest assured at some point i know i over a year ago i did the original jeep thrills series where i was quote unquote training for the speed run that i was planning on doing right when that series ended a year later, I still haven't done it, but it's coming. It is coming, I promise. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope it is. God. Technology gods, please smile upon me and let this freaking stuff work. But those are just a couple of things uh, from 2022. More Chip Tide shows. Probably some shorter ones because that editing that FNAF one Woohoo! Was uh was a doozy. So I'm gonna maybe try to keep it down to like ten minutes instead of fifty. Um, so that'll be fun. But yeah, just same some of the same old stuff. Maybe some new stuff. We'll see. It's gonna be great. Question number five, the pen ultimate question for me. Uh, have there been any big milestones for you this year? And yes, in fact, there has. Uh, first of all, I tried to figure out exactly how many subscribers I had at the end of last year. Surprisingly, YouTube does not have a good way that I can find of tracking that in the like analytics. They show how many subscribers you gain on each day, 
but not like a lifetime like bar graph of like where you were at the total in at like December 31st 2020 versus now so I don't know exactly how many we gained but I know for a fact that we passed 300 subscribers now we're at about 324 which is great uh, maybe by the end of next year we'll be at 400 maybe 500 I don't know I don't know so that was uh, that was great that was super fun uh, also I think it was this year no it couldn't have been this year no way it was this year it was no it was more than it was two years ago I was gonna say we started using face cam that's not true that's not true yeah that's a lie that's de that's definitely a lie uh, but we started using this new set for the chip tide show which is great uh, much better than me sitting here with all of my stuff from college just in a heap back there that I just didn't want to clean up. Uh, so the, I think that really improved the quality of those videos. Uh, we also reached over 1,000 videos on this channel, which is wild. Now granted, most of them are Let's Play videos, so it's a lot easier to rack up a lot of videos on a channel if you did Let's Plays for the first like three years of your channel's existence because it's just new videos every day but still i feel like that's pretty cool uh over one i think we're at 1000 this might be 1046 so that's pretty neat that's pretty neat and uh lastly i kind of talked about it earlier but that chrono trigger uh let's play that i started last year sometime this year it is a the first episode has surpassed 1,000 views, which for a Let's Play for a channel of my size is wild. That's insane. I don't think any Let's Play video has gotten that many views, except for the one video from my Platinum, I don't even remember what series it was, where I showed Pokemon following you in that like square in the thumbnail. And YouTube was like, oh, I'm going to recommend this to every single person. Uh... I think that one might have passed it until I just unlisted it because I didn't want it recommending that video above some of my actual good ones. But, yeah, that is really cool. I think a lot of the videos in that series are up there in like 700, 800 views, which is wild. I had no idea how much you guys loved Chrono Trigger, but I'm glad that you did. So there is that. And number six. So number six is name a creator who is smaller than you that you think your viewers will love. And number seven is uh, tag three people. I'm going to kind of combine these into one because, you know, here when we're down low in the sub counts, as it were, uh, higher and lower, it doesn't really mean as much. You know, it's it's all this. We're in the same tier. So I'm going to uh, just... Combine these two into the same one. Uh, and it says tag three people. I cheated and did four. Sue me. Sue me. So the first one is, I mentioned him before, Icy Richard. The father of Operation Reindeer that I unfortunately could not uh, officially partake in this year. As sad. But I'm still going to, when I do that Jeep Throw speedrun, it's still going to go to the same charity. So I will just be doing it much later than I was supposed to, um, but he does a lot of live stream content, not just Pokemon. I don't think any of these people are just Pokemon Poketubers. Uh, well, one of them is, but the rest are not. But you know what? I'm not either, and I did this. Uh, so Icy Richard, he's been on the channel, made several cameos on the channel. We're trying to, at some point, do a, a fully fledged collab. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun sometime next year. And, uh, yeah, so you gotta go check him out. Uh, he does a lot of great stuff. I feel like I've tagged him a couple of times, and you know, he always delivers, so we're doing it again. Uh, the next one we're tagging is, you may know him as Michael the Squirtle if you've been around the channel for a while, because he sure has, but he, now he is rebranded to Spawn. And we also might have some internal uh, co-ops finally in the works. But if you like the dankest of memes, you got to get over there and check it out. It does a lot of funny stuff over there. So, you know, you got to show him some love. We all got to, you know, in this small community. Uh, the next one is Stale Moose McGee, who has helped me out with some editing stuff in the past on the, the Betrayal episode, which is also a, a one I forgot to mention. Betrayal at House on the Hill, all the stuff with the, the board pieces moving around. I didn't, couldn't figure out how to do that without it taking 30 years. 
And so he helped me out with that. He also does a lot of uh, more Let's Play focused stuff. If you're into that and you want to head over there. A lot of fun, fun stuff on uh, that channel. So, all I mean, it goes without saying. All these people, links in the description. You gotta go check them out. Show them some love. And the last one is Lua FG, who is a fully fledged Pokétuber. A little bit bigger than uh, me. I think he's over a thousand at this point. I actually helped him out with some thumbnail stuff earlier in the year. If you uh, go through and look at it, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, for a range of videos in there, I was helping him out with uh, a couple of videos. Any of the ones from uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unset 10 unsettling Pokedex entries all the way through 107 facts about uh, Brilliant Diamond Facial Pearl. Those were all me, baby. Did those thumbnails. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, working on my thumbnail game. And yeah, so you gotta... He does do a lot of Pokemon stuff. A lot of Brilliant Diamond Spatial Pearl related content at the moment if you're into that. So go check him out. And all four of you have been tagged so i can't wait to see what you do uh if you are unaware i know i'm doing this super late not giving you a lot of time if you do it by the end of the year by the end of 2021 then bird keeper toby can add you to a playlist of everyone who's done it if you do it afterwards i'm sure he'll still retweet you or something because he's a great guy but that is going to bring this video to a close unless i said uh earlier i wanted to try and make videos closer to like 10 15 minutes this freaking tag video is 23 minutes so i guess i just can't keep them short but i will see you all in whatever video of mine you decide to watch next hopefully if you go over and see some other uh wants to battle tag videos that'll be fun but i will see you all then but until then don't forget to take it easy